Yeah, yeah subvert expectations sure. and um, make people feel things. Those are my two goals. If you want to sum this up in just two goals, subvert expectations, make people feel things. All I'm saying is if you see me walking around with a dog collar on, um, maybe I went too far. Mistakes are just information. I feel like when we actually have the space for it, when the mistakes come, then that space allows us to really analyze the process. I don't know. I feel like I rambled over that phrase over and over again. I still can't, still can't for the life of me remember how I got to that. Um, and I think that's the positive thing. I think as much as a hurdle as this can be for people, you just it can it can still have its rewards. You just gotta work around it. <laughs> That's why people die, I think. That's why we, <laughs> that's why, I mean, that's how, that's, no, that's why we replenish the population. That's exactly move, how move. evolution works. Yeah. So, you know, like you have to die in order for- the If we all live forever, this would be extremely boring uh, life. At this what a point. different world. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a great point to round this out on. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully there's some logic somewhere within this long ramble about timelines and motivation and how we create. That sounds like it's going to be more like machine learning yeah. um, than I want it to be, but I think I know a way around the machine learning for now. Meanwhile, I'll start writing horror Brady Bunch <laughs> fan fiction. Perfect. Oh my god, exactly. I'll read that. <laughs> who wouldn't read that? Well, you want someone who appears to have broken society. You want someone who appears to have expanded past what it is to be flesh and bone and gone, no, this is the new normal. This is everything you want to be. And, I, and I'm now realizing from this conversation that that might be a really good way to get into this because yeah. it's like, if you time yourself, you literally can't fret over anything. You just have to be like... Because I mean, with music, once you're in a song, it's kind of fine. Like you're not really there anymore. It's just the song, it's just the story. Mm. But I guess if you're a comedian, or well, sometimes if you're a poet, you know, it's much more vulnerable. All I'm saying is that, you know, as a creator, as a platform, as someone who puts his opinions out into the world, I'm going to tell you it's okay to feel sad. Appreciate the small things. Appreciate the small accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Because as long as you're moving forward, you're getting something done. I am going to go into like a, a spiral later about all of this, of like the mind spiral of like, wow, all those connections and everything fits. And do that's like really. Crime? Because I like the Muppets. Yeah. Or do I like the Muppets because I like true crime? But yeah, like, life's a surprise. I just, who knows? Life should be full of surprise. I like the uh, I like the element of unknown and the element of I could be doing something entirely different in this time. But as long as there's enough of society looking at it and going, hmm, no, I don't like that. That is punk. <laughs> yeah, that should be the criteria for for something being punk. You can read like one or two articles. You can look at one or two pictures and get something. Like it's not like you need to like start front to back. You know. Like, Brett's quite good at driving. I vote him to be driving if we can have a Mad Max style squad. Yeah, fine. We will roam the countryside and stab some people up. You know, like, where did you get these skulls? Can we test these skulls? They may be an unsolved murder, which you oh, now happen to own the skull of. <laughs> yeah, so that's just a lesson for keep receipts. <laughs> what have you done for money that you're ashamed of now? <laughs> Too many things. Yeah. <laughs> Things I won't say on camera because it's incriminating. Yeah, I don't know. It's an undistracted moment that you can have in a connection, whether that, whatever the theme of that connection might be, but it's just, you know, you don't have to scroll past. Just have a look at these couple of pages. I've just put a couple of pages together. Just, just, just flick through them, put your favorite music on, or sit in front of the heater, or grab a cup of tea, and just enjoy it. And it's, it's a moment that people don't have anymore. You say that perfectly because that is something that's fascinating to me, is passion about a niche subject. Like, you know, I'm passionate about ducks, but anyone. And it constantly evolves, like every generation adds a new layer to these things. M many harsh words were had in the mirror with them. <laughs> with this Being difficult Daft. for yourself now. <laughs> you are a difficult say. woman, Lucy. <laughs> Why would you do this to you? <laughs> yes. Why would you punish yourself like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's become a very um, philosophical learning yeah. curve. <laughs>
but I had that idea and that itch that wouldn't go away that I just had to like put my writing somewhere <laughs> that was that had no restrictions. Being in it for the long haul some somewhat kind of means uh, doing it even when it's not working out for you just doing it because it's fun like mm -hmm. you know not not following you know a, a trend or an idea that you saw somewhere else but just doing it because you enjoy doing it like you, you should get some really like off the wall sponsors that would be really funny though <laughs> like uh i don't want to be sponsored by like ted's hardware store in like yeah, east connecticut yeah. or something just like yeah. some complete <laughs> random off the wall you know. if you use the coupon code yelling at concrete you could get a free screwdriver <laughs> exactly that's the um, thing i think that's important to keep in mind like especially yeah. when you're making anything i always think of it along the lines of it, it shouldn't matter whether anyone's going to see it or, that's the thing yeah i mean yeah. i'm not and that's sort of there's like a freedom in that too you know where i like the reason i'm doing sub and tangy mustard or anything really is just because i enjoy the act of doing it and less so because i'm like well there's going to be some big payoff if i do it right you know yeah you can have all the viewers in the world and all the subscribers in the world and all the followers and hangers on and all they want but if no one's really engaging with them what's the point that's just a trend that's just hype Meanwhile, if you're creating something and then changing the thing you create, every aspect you can get, valuing the effort you put in and the feeling you get when you create it, you're going to create something much more significant, much more valuable to you than is valuable to anybody else out there. I'm just saying I'm pretty hard to ignore because... Honestly, I just don't care.